Yes, again it is teacher Freddy back in the studio. So without wasting a lot of time, yesterday we were looking at a certain topic in mathematics. Still we are on the same topic, though it was a different subtopic. So as we look at the subtopic for today, that is fraction of all numbers. I would urge every person outside there to be following us every day. Still you would be having something in your head. See, sometimes in most cases when you don't revise, you might have forgotten everything. But for those who are following us, you are updating your soul every day and then. So let's kick off to our lesson of today, which says subtraction of whole numbers. So I want us to see how can we subtract whole numbers is what we are after today. I want to look at this, how can we subtract whole numbers. So when we look at the word subtraction, is represented by the, this symbol. This is the symbol that represents the word subtraction in mathematics. So we have a lot of words, or more than one word, that represents this symbol. Sometimes they talk of subtraction. When they talk of subtraction, still think of this. Somebody else may also talk of the word difference. Difference also is the same as subtraction. Somebody else may also say minus outside there. When you find the end of this question, uh, end of these words, simply they are meaning one sign. This is what they mean. At the same time, we also have another word known as take away. Take away simply also mean subtract. So we shall be always looking at this. Whenever you see any question with any of these words, simply just know what they are demanding from you to subtract everything. So they can talk of difference. Difference is the same as saying subtraction or subtract. Sometimes they don't say subtraction. They can just say subtract. Subtract. It is the same. All these are under what we call subtraction. And subtraction is represented by this sign. So when somebody says find the difference of Two and a three, just know you are going to subtract. If somebody says, uh, what, is, uh, what is three minus one, just know you are going to subtract. If they say, take away five from two, just know you are going to subtract. If somebody says, subtract two to, from this, just know you are going to take away. So all these words simply mean this sign. Once you see the word difference, you just know you are subtracting. Once you see the word minus, just be alert that you are going to subtract. As you see the word take away, just be updated that you are going to subtract. At the same time, when you see the word subtract, we are taking away, or we are minusing, or we are finding the difference at the same time. So as we begin with our number, which they have given us, they have given us a number on subtraction, and we need to have a hint about it. We need to have a hint about it. The hint about this, we look at what we call place values. Without the concept of place values, you cannot arrange this number correctly and pass it. So what we need, or what is required first of all, is to arrange these numbers according to their uh, these digits according to their place values. So let's Continue with the number. We leave this is not what I'm looking at mostly. The words we shall be fine in the number. So let me arrange the first number the way it is. So I'll have three, seven, eight, four, three, one, four. That is the first number. And remember to follow what we call place values. And we said when we are arranging the second number, we don't begin from the highest place value. We begin from the smallest place value. So I'll come here on the second number. I begin with the last digit 
under the place value of ones, then followed by zero, followed by two, followed by three, seven, six, and two. The first one, the first number, we take away the second number from it. Remember, this is represented by ones, here tens, hundreds, this is thousands, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, then finally, million. So when you look at the place value of ones, we have arranged everything in ones, tens, hundreds, a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, then millions. So from there, we are now going to be in position of subtracting. When we begin with the ones, we shall realize that we have got four here, and out of four, we are taking away three. If I have four, then they ask me to remove three. I will say one, two, three. I will remain with one. So I'll come here and say, I'll remain with one. At the same time, I'll say, zero, one, take away zero. It will give us one. Then we shall have three, take away two. If you are not sure of what you are doing, if you are not just see, then you give out the answer. Don't rush. In the process of rushing, you rush, you write a wrong answer, you will fail. When you fail, it is you who will feel it, not the teacher who marked you. The teacher who marked you will just feel so bad because you have failed. But for you who is as a candidate outside there, you are planning your future. I you know this may be more important to contribute at least towards your tomorrow. Because as for now, we can't tell where our future is. But at least what I know, once you master the concept it will help you in the future so when i talk of the futures don't say future not provided by mathematics no every day we do mathematics home there for example they send you in their house they say we are now going to have supper how many are we inside we are eight you're going to bring plates you cannot bring 50 plates because you are aware that you are eight you will go and count eight plates in the process of counting eight plates and eight forks you are now doing mathematics so mathematics we do it every day by then, by then. Every day, every day. There is no day you can spend without doing mathematics. The time you are moving, the steps you are moving, that is mathematics. The distance you are covering, that is mathematics. Anything that you are giving from your side to somebody, that is mathematics. You are moving, now there you are dealing with the addition. Something you are receiving from another person, that is addition. Mathematics is done every day. So it should be part of us. We should, we, we actually, we should say mathematics should be our friend. There are some few people outside there who complain always that you see mathematics is hard for me. No, it is not hard for you, but just put there a feeling. Once you put a feeling and you work towards it, you'll make it. No one is better. No one is perfect in everything. But we keep on trying, trying, today, tomorrow, today, tomorrow, until you perfect yourself. So my candidates outside there, Make sure when you find that you have a lot of challenges in mathematics, just draw a lot of attention to mathematics. In the process or in the period of two to three months, you will realize that you are now becoming a star in mathematics. You will be able to work out numbers. And when you are revising mathematics, remember we don't revise mathematics like you are revising SST. Mathematics, you copy the number somewhere, work it out, then after you go and confirm if you are right or wrong. So we shall continue from there. We shall say 4 take away 3, 1. 1 take away 0, 1. Then we have 3 take away 2. We shall also have 1. Then at the same time we shall have 3 take away. We shall have 4 take away 3. It will also give us 1. At the same time I have 8 take away 7. It will give us 1. At the same time I have 6, 5, 7 take away 6. It will also give us 1. At the same time, we have three take away two. It will also give us one. So you realize that you'll end, you'll end up by remaining with one million one hundred eleven thousand one hundred eleven. That will be your remainder. So from there, I'll come and say therefore three take away one. 
three million seven hundred eighty four thousand three hundred fourteen take away two million six hundred seventy three thousand two hundred three will give us one million one hundred eleven thousand one hundred eleven this will be my answer from there I'll have my ruler and underline as I underline make sure you use a ruler because if you use a free hand you can see the way how my line is it is not straight because I've used a rule a free hand don't hesitate just I simplify you here post the question I'll get back let's go to the second example and we see what does second example want us to do look at the second example it is saying wisdom center school in which seller district hardy uh, 434,646 kilograms of rice and I decided to give out 43,999 kilograms to friends during the lockdown how many kilograms remained in the store so when you look at this they are saying this is a school found in Wichasala district known as wisdom center it had a certain quantity of rice in their store just as the question is saying out of the number of kilograms they were having by that time certain amount of rice and gave it out to the friends so when you look at this when they talk about giving out what you are having will have to reduce because you are giving out but if you are adding what you have should increase but when you are what you have has to degrees that is subtracting then adding subtracting that's what you have to put in mind it wants us to subtract and what is showing us that the question wants us to subtract is only one thing there is a word here indicating remained with the word remain the word remained wanted us to identify what has remained after giving out what did this person remain with so that word remain it means we shall get what this person was having or this school what it was having at first then it removed something if it had the rise up to this level they removed this level so they want us to find the level of rise remained down so you realize that before we find the kilogram or the number of kilograms of rice that were left we shall have to get the first number which is for 434,666 kilograms then we shall have to subtract the number of kilograms that the school gave out to friends and remember they gave out 43,000 999 so we shall begin from the side of ones so we say we shall have we are nine 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 three four remember we are dealing with kilograms here we have comma so we are going to subtract since they said we find the number of number of kilograms remain so we shall do with the subtraction because of the word remained with what they remain eh? how many kilograms remain so that is the word is showing us that we have to subtract remember we are dealing with kilograms so our units should be maintained the upper number should be bigger than the down number so when we look at this we have six to take away nine when i have six Six around aside here. This is one here you have to put in common sense. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Then somebody asks you to remove nine from this six. Can it be possible? Let me see. If I say I'm removing nine, it will not be possible because for us we shall count six. 
but still we shall need to subtract more 3. So it is impossible. It is eh? impossible. I will see if I say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 6, six but they want us to remove 9. So it is very impossible. What we shall do, we shall come to the neighbor and we borrow 1 here. We leave 3. When we leave 3, we shall make this 16. So we shall say 16, take away 9. Take away 9. I will say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. 16, we are taking away 9 of them. I will say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. After removing 9, I will come and count all what I have remained with here. How many have I remained with here? So I will say 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So all of this, they were 16. But when I removed the first nine, I've now remained here with the seven. So I'll say I've remained with seven. At the same time, I'll come to 16. I mean to six. I'll borrow one. If you say three minus nine is impossible. So I'll borrow one and I leave here five. I make this 13. After making that 13, I'll also say 13. Count 13 if you are not sure. You can also count 13 aside, but don't count where the teacher is doing your work from or where the teacher is marking from. So you can also count 13 somewhere where the teacher doesn't see. Then you subtract 9. I can also have my side work and I say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, but we are moving 9. So I will say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then I will remain with 1, 2, 3, 4. So I will say I am remaining here with 4. You can maintain the same process until you finish everything. Make sure where you are counting from the teacher doesn't see. Because even me now here you cannot see what I was doing. So from there we shall continue. 5 take away 9. 5 take away 9. 5 is less than 9. So I will have to borrow here 3 and I make this 15. 15 take away 9, it will give us 6. So if it gives us 6, we shall have to come to the next one. We shall have 3 take out 3. I have 3 mangoes, I give out 3. So it will give me 0. Then I will continue from there. I will say. The next one I have 3, take away 4. 3, take away 4. When you have 3, take away 4, you realize that 4 is more than 3. So it is impossible. So what we shall need to do, we shall have to come and borrow something here. We leave here 3. We make this 13. Take away 4. If you cannot just count and give the answer, make sure you go and stick somewhere such that you can understand better. Make 13 sticks, you remove 4. Or else, if you... If you are sure of what you are doing, just say 13, take away 4, which will give us 9. 13, take away 4, it will give us 9. Then here we have 3. Take away nothing, which shall remain with 3. And from there I will show 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3. The school had to remain with more. The school remained with more kilograms according to what we have seen because the school had this gave out this and when you look at what it gave out you realize that it still has a lot that it has saved in the store so we shall say after wisdom giving out everything they remained with 390,647 uh, kilograms of rice so that is what was left but remember they had more than that at first so after giving out this is what they remain with or do you please feel like you have not understood better what we are doing and you would wish to ask a question for clarification on what we have done just simply inbox your whatsapp message on this number or just send a text message in my inbox. I'll get back to you and I'll have to do what you need. 
as long as it is relevant to what we are doing. We are there for you to provide the service. Your work is just to maintain the spirit of following the programs on BTN TV. As you follow programs, you'll be always learning new things and other vital programs are on. As I wind up, allow me to put the, my activity and you try it outside there. When you try it, time will come when you go back to school you'll hand everything over to your teacher and your mathematics teacher will have to go through and mark you after marking you will have to guide you where necessary please keep at home just like they said it earlier if you have nothing to make you move away from home don't move please just stay at home as we wait for this situation to come down then we shall be free to move everywhere we want Stay safe as you copy this exercise. Look at the second example. It is saying Wisdom Center School in Wichesela District had uh, 434,646 kilograms of rice and I decided to give out 43,999 kilograms to friends during the lockdown. How many kilograms remained in the store? So when you look at this, they are saying, this is a school found in Wichasala district, known as Wisdom Center. It had a certain quantity of rice in their store, just as the question is saying, out of the number of kilograms they were having by that time, they also decided to keep some certain amount of rice and gave it out to their friends. So when you look at this, when they talk about giving out, what you have has to degrees. That is subtracting then adding, subtracting. That's what you have to put in mind. The one that remained wanted us to identify what has remained. After giving out, what did this person remain with? So that word remained, it means we shall get what this person was having, or this school, what it was having at first. Then it removed something. If it had the rise up to this level, they removed this level, so, they want us to find the level of rice remained down. So, you realize that before we find the kilogram or the number of kilograms of rice that we are left, we shall have to get the first number, which is 4. Then, we shall have to subtract the number of kilograms that the school gave out to friends. And remember, they gave out 43,000. 999. So we shall begin from the side of ones. So we say, shall have we a nine? Nine. Nine. Three. Four. Remember, we are dealing with kilograms. Here we have comma. Number of kilograms remained. So we shall with the subtraction. Because of the word remained with. What they remain? Eh? How many kilograms remain? So that is the word that is showing us that we have to subtract. Remember, we are dealing with kilograms. So our units should be maintained. So when we look at this, we have six to take away nine. When I have six, six around aside here, this is one here you have to put in common sense. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, you have a six, six. Then somebody asks you to remove nine from this six. Can it be possible? Let me see. If I say I'm removing 9, it will not be possible because for us we shall count 6, but still we shall need to subtract more 3. So it is impossible. It is eh? impossible. I will see. If I say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I have 6, six, six, six. but they want us to remove 9. So when you get 6, take away 9, it is impossible because these ones are very few. But for you, you need to. 
So it is very impossible. What we shall do, we shall come to the neighbor and we borrow one here. We leave three. When we leave three, we shall make this 16. So we shall say 16 take away nine. Take away 9. I will say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, we are taking away 9 of them. I will say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. After moving 9, I will come and count all what I have remained with here. How many have I remained with here? So I will say 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven. So all of this, they were 16. But when I removed the first nine, I've now remained here with the seven. So I'll say I've remained with seven. At the same time, I'll come to 16. I mean to six. I'll borrow one. If you say three minus nine is impossible. So I'll borrow one and I leave here five. I make this 13. After making that 13, I'll also say 13. Count 13 if you are not sure. You can also count 13 aside, but don't count where the teacher is doing your work from or where the teacher is marking from. So you can also count 13 somewhere where the teacher doesn't see. Then you subtract 9. I can also have my side work and I say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, but we are moving 9. So I will say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then I will remain with 1, 2, 3, 4. So I will say I am remaining here with 4. You can maintain the same process until you finish everything. Make sure where you are counting from the teacher doesn't see. Because even me now here you cannot see what I was doing. So from there we shall continue. 5 take away 9. 5 take away 9. 5 is less than 9. So I will have to borrow here 3 and I make this 15. 15 take away 9, it will give us 6. So if it gives us 6, we shall have to come to the next one. We shall have 3 take away 3. I have 3 mangoes, I give out 3. So it will give me 0. Then I will continue from there. I will say. The next one I have 3, take away 4. 3, take away 4. When you have 3, take away 4, you realize that 4 is more than 3. So it is impossible. So what we shall need to do, we shall have to come and borrow something here. We leave here 3. We make this 13. Take away 4. If you cannot just count and give the answer, make sure you go and sticks somewhere such that you can understand better. Make 13 sticks, you remove 4. Or else, if you... If you are sure of what you are doing, just say 13, take away 4, which will give us 9. 13, take away 4, that will give us 9. Then here we have 3. Take away nothing, we shall remain with 3. And from there I will show 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3. The school had to remain with more. The school remained with more kilograms according to what we have seen because the school had this gave out this and when you look at what it gave out you realize that it still has a lot that it has saved in the store so we shall say after wisdom giving out everything they remained with 390,647 uh, kilograms of rice so that is what was left but remember they had more than that at first so after giving out this is what they remain with or do you please feel like you have not understood better what we are doing and you would wish to ask a question for clarification on what we have done just simply inbox your whatsapp message on this number or just send a text message in my inbox I'll get back to you and I'll have to do what you need as long as it is relevant to what we are doing we are there for you to provide the service your work is just to maintain 
the spirit of following the programs on BTN TV. As you follow programs, you'll be always learning new things and other vital programs are on. As I wind up, allow me put the, my activity and you try it outside there. When you try it, time will come when you go back to school, you'll hand everything over to your white teacher and your mathematics teacher will have to go through and mark you. After marking you, will have to guide you where necessary. Please keep at home, just like they said it earlier. If you have nothing to make you move away from home, don't move. Please just stay at home as we wait for this situation to come down, then we shall be free to move everywhere we want. Stay safe as you copy this exercise. I would like us to continue with our activity for today's lesson. When you look at the activity of today's lesson, it says find the difference between the following numbers. They want you to find the difference between this first number and the second number. What does it mean? When they say difference, uh, you have to come out with the big number minus the small number. Number two, still, they want you to find the difference. You'll have the first big number, then you subtract the smaller number, which is the second number. Then, when we come to number three, still, you are going to find the difference. You first have the first number, which is the biggest number, minus the smallest number. What you'll come out with will be the difference. All right, sometime when you come to number four, the F side subtract. The first number is here, subtract 389,349 from 1 million. So what is the logic here? When they say from, it means you'll have to begin with the biggest number. And the second number is bigger than the first number. Somebody may be seeing here 1 and 0, 0, 0, 0. It says this is a small number, then this is a big number. No. First of all, look at its value. How many digits are on the first number and at the same time, how many digits are on the second number? The number has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It has only 6 digits. When you look at the last number, it has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, the second number has 7 digits. What does it mean? The number with very many digits is considered to be bigger than the number with less digits. So, this one is bigger than 89,340 that's what is going to be done then from there we shall come to the last question number five which says take away 10,999 from 111,111. When you look at this, you may also assume and say, here I'm seeing 999, but here 111. No. When you see this word from, begin with the last number. The last number is bigger than the first number. That's why they have said, from here, then you remove this. Then from there, it means we shall have 111,111. Take away 10,990. That's what is required to be done according to the question. Meanwhile, when you look at number two, number two, we are going to have 943,486,000. Number three, 920. Then we shall subtract. 386 million 799,999. Don't look at this, then you say, since this one is ending with 9999, it's bigger than this. No. We consider the digit which is at the highest place value. This is uh, the highest place value. We have 9 million, yet 900 million, yet this side we have 300 million. So the side of 900 million is the biggest. So we shall have this minus this. The second one we shall have 
79 million 342,342 take away 69 million 999,990 so we shall have this this take away this this take away this check on what you have come out with it, right that is great if you have not passed it still you should not give up if you've not passed it make sure you struggle next time you pass it mathematics if you want to pass mathematics always keep practicing there is no one who will understand mathematics without practicing in most cases what we need we need to put in more efforts and we exercise it on a daily basis at least before you spend a day make sure you work out one mathematics number once you keep working out at least one in different areas you realize that your understanding capacity in mathematics is changed revise over 50 questions in a day you said for me i want to understand mathematics more than anything else so today i'm revising mathematics hey find the so this is this is hey, find the find the angle some find the area of this no that is not how we revise mathematics just simply get some few numbers two or three in a day they are enough two or three in a day are enough copy the question first sit with your book analyze the steps that the teacher used after analyzing the steps that the teacher used just copy the question on another paper or in a different revision book then close just work work it out alone you alone work it out when you become stuck go back open the teacher's work see where are you becoming stuck from do that like three times you realize that when you do like that three times you will understand that number better and once you understand it better yeah that is uh, i always refer you to this number in case you have any question relating to what i've done today i'll refer you to this number for any message send for any comment send who shall attend as we uh, as we extend our sincere thanks to BTN staff for the privilege that they enable us with to benefit all the candidates outside there, even those who are semi candidates, please make this program vital on your side. It will help you, it will update you the time you come back to school. When you reach class, you will not be great about what you are going to do. Remember, it is a first long holiday by the lockdown, which wasn't anyone's wish. And we need to abide by the, what the government says, such that we may overcome it. As you stay home, keep following us. And on addition to that, we still recognize BTN and any other sponsors who are involved in this program. We say, please, we are happy for what you are doing. Above all, I recognize Mama Angel for the support. Thank you so much. Stay blessed. Yeah.